Hello everyone! So for day eight, our focus is danceability for the Highland Lullaby. And it's kind of, well, it's a beautiful tune, but it's neat in the sense that it is also danceable even though it's a waltz. So, or let me correct that. A waltz is absolutely danceable. Um, the way the song plays when we're first learning it, we use such long bows, it almost sounds like it's so slow you wouldn't be able to dance to it. Our focus in this tune is in three quarter time. So we're playing one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. A, A, two, two, E, E, two. E, E, two, E, two, one. So it gives us that beautiful rocking feeling as if we're in a boat, rocking on the ocean. And that's what's going to give us the waltz feel to it. So it's quite a fast waltz, or you can think of it as a slow rocking lullaby. So here we go. Our emphasis is going to be on beat one. <laughs> approaching it, what I'm actually thinking about is using a longer bow for the longer notes and really shortening up my bow for the second note. Long, short, long, short, long, short, long. And even though right now I'm saying short as if it's really short, I'm still keeping it smooth. So long, shorter, long, short. It, that connection there is a smooth connection. <laughs> the way I sang it, I made it sound like it was choppy, but it's a smooth connection between the two. It is just that you're reducing the size of the bow on the second note. from you let me know how it goes um, but try fooling around with that a little bit um, over your practice day and incorporate that in with your nice long flowing bows have a great day